Today we are going to talk about what it is like to have COVID in an RV. Spoiler alert, it sucks. <laughs> It sucks to have it, period. Yeah, so we're going to talk about really the difference between having COVID in an RV versus a house. We've never had COVID in a house before, but we've had flu and colds. So we kind yeah. of know about the same, what the differences are between a house and an RV. Yeah. I was diagnosed with COVID on December 31st. Yep. Happy New Year. So I <laughs> rang in the New Year with COVID. Happy 2022. Um... I wasn't feeling that well. I was feeling a little run down. Sore throat you was my, sore. my primary deal. Yeah, that was your main symptom. It was razor blade <laughs> sore throat. It's the worst sore throat that I've ever, ever had. had in my life. Yeah. Like every time I swallowed, even like spit, it was just like just <laughs> someone was running a knife down my throat. It really hurt so bad. Try giving birth. That We're going to do this? Really bad. We're going to do this? <laughs> but carry on <laughs> tried everything man yeah the sore throat lozenges i was taking day quill yeah. night quill i even had the spray that would numb. supposedly numb your throat it wouldn't it would hurt so bad that that stuff wouldn't even numb my throat yeah so then you thought you maybe you just had strep yeah i thought i had strep so i was like well we were close to a va yeah we were in las vegas for the holidays mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'll go up to the VA and have them check me for strep. Because yeah. they have like a an urgent care. Yeah. Not like you have to sit there and wait for the ER. So it, it would yeah. be quick. And I went up there because I had no other symptoms. I thought it was just strep. Mm -hmm. I went up there, they swabbed me for strep. They did the COVID test. Yep. Uh, and they said, well, we'll call you later with results. Mm -hmm. You'll either be COVID or you'll have strep. Sure. So that will determine the course of action, whether it's going to be antibiotics That's or whether it's going to be just treat symptoms. Yes. Yeah. Well, they called me back in a couple hours and I had COVID. Yeah. Man down. Yes. Yeah, so nothing really you can do about it other than treat the symptoms with the over the counter stuff. Yeah. He just said just rest. I was drinking <laughs> gallons of like warm tea with honey. honey. Um, we even tried whiskey. <laughs> I tried everything. <laughs> Nothing worked. I had like a drawer full of meds. Yeah. And I was just round robin, just yeah. trying different things because nothing would work for the sore throat. I was not sleeping because I couldn't fall asleep because my throat hurt so bad. Yeah. And then if I ever did wake up in the middle of the night, my th throat hurt so bad. I, you know, I'd go in the bathroom, I'd gargle salt, salt water. Yeah. I'd do the chloroseptic. You know, numbing spray, and I would get it back to a, to a tolerable enough pain level to where I could barely fall asleep. Yeah. But then I'd wake back up and it'd be just like, I was miserable. Okay. 12 days. I was miserable too because you, <laughs> you yeah. were miserable. Really, it was the first seven days that were just terrible. I couldn't yeah. get it figured out. But I did finally start taking this. This is what I want to talk about. I started taking this V pack. It's uh, Euchanasia. E. Euchanasia? It's a easy. C yeah, pack. I don't know how to say that word. Euchanasia? Euchanasia. Euchanasia, zinc, and vitamin C. Yeah. It's a five-day thing. So I started taking that. And it's a tapered thing. Like you, you take a certain amount on day one, yeah. and it lowers the dose every day. Your mom introduced it to us, and we got it. We can get it on. You can get it on Amazon. Oh yeah, and I've always taken it for colds. Yeah. Because it's sh it because it's super packed mm -hmm. with those things that it knocks your cold like in half the time. So normally. I don't even have to, f I finish the pack usually the five day, but I don't have to. By like day yeah. three, I'm good. And so when I came back positive with COVID, she started taking that. Yeah. And never got a symptom. Nope, never had a symptom. I'm sure she had COVID. I probably did. I mean, because in an RV, that's one difference than in your yes. home. We had a four bedroom home. We could have isolated to one bedroom, but that's yeah. not possible here. Can't Neither one of us were going to sleep on this uncomfortable couch. <laughs> so. No, and even still, I mean, you're st such small quarters. It really yeah. doesn't matter. You can't quarantine. It, and and it, I'm OCD, and I clean every mm -hmm. day. I clean surfaces every day because that's just how I always am. But yeah. that was not enough. So I started taking the pack. I started feeling better immediately, like after day one. Yeah, you really do know. And you never got symptoms. So this pack really works. It's a little spendy. It is costly, but worth it because it is worth it because I know what it does yeah. and it and it 
knocks things out quick. So we'll leave a link in the description for that if you want to go buy a pack or two. We've already got more that we've got on hand for the next round of whatever. And what sucked is I got, I think I did catch a cold shortly after. Yeah. Because even though everything, the sneezing and the, the runny nose went away, but then a couple of days later it came back. So I think I caught a cold and I'm out of the pack. Yeah. So, so just expect to to not be able to really quarantine away from your family. You can quarantine away from others by staying in your RV, yes. which we did for 14 days. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Which is painful because you want to go out and you want to... Well, and the kicker was that we had air. just had the issue before. Yeah, with your med reaction. I had a med reaction and so I was not feeling well for a couple of weeks. So we didn't go anywhere for a couple of weeks. We had that short window where I felt better. We had like a one month. And the holidays came. Of fun. <laughs> yeah, Lauren came to Vegas, we had some fun, and then I got COVID. So back yeah. quarantining again. Everybody, if you're quarantining in your RV, likely everybody who is in your RV is going to get it. Lauren yeah. got it. Lauren COVID. did get it. Yeah, so even though I caught it right at the end where she was getting ready to leave, she did catch it, and so she took it back home with her too. And ironically, <clears throat> our daughter is vaccinated because she's a healthcare worker, and her symptoms were worse than yours yes which is weird and i'm not vaccinated and yeah we i wasn't going to talk about vaccinations because oh. i didn't want to start no crap but, but there you go i'm not vaccinated and my daughter is she's a healthcare worker so she has to be um but i'm not going to start a discussion about the vaccination no but to put her down for two weeks she didn't get to work yeah so that sucked um so and the other unfortunate part and the other thing that's different from being in an RV in a house is um, we had to move. We had to move twice yes. while I was battling with COVID. Yeah. Because we tried to stay in Vegas a little longer, couldn't, everything's booked up. You got no choice, you got to move. And I didn't feel like moving, man. Yeah, I know. And we were going longer travel days than normal. Yeah. And so I just felt like crap for those two travel days that we had while I was on COVID. So yeah. that's another difference. If you have a house, you can just ride it out and sit there and you don't yeah. have to move off the couch or whatever. Yeah. I had to break everything down, yeah. flush tanks, drive for four to five hours, <laughs> set everything back up. And I'm telling you, man, I was done. Yeah. I was done. Yeah, once you came back inside, <laughs> then you just collapsed. <laughs> yeah. But COVID sucks no matter where you are, but there are things that you can do to prevent it. Uh, from from getting out of hand like this vitamin pack really helped a lot. It does. I love it. The bad part is um, Coming up real soon in the future. We're gonna be trapped again Yeah Not like trapped trapped not like that like the, the medication thing or the COVID thing, but I have another medical issue Yes, if I was a horse they'd put me down man. <laughs> He'd be glue God. <laughs> So I have another medical issue, which is bringing us to Dallas, yeah. and it's going to probably require some outpatient surgery. Well, we feel it it's to the point yeah. now where it does, and we got to convince the doctor that that's the right thing yeah. to do too. So once that surgery happens, there's like a, it's not really a, a recovery period because it's such a, a routine it, yeah. thing, but they recommend you taking it very easy, easy for two weeks. So we want to be somewhere for two weeks and we probably won't be going out doing a lot of hike we'll be doing no hiking Hike. and biking yeah. and all that stuff so we'll probably just get out to like a store or something but adventuring is going to be to a minimum for those couple of weeks yeah we're not necessarily trapped in the rv no we but just can't do anything extraneous yeah so so man it's just been crazy yeah covid sucks <laughs> it's well yeah covid sucks. it's not supposed to be fun yeah Scout didn't get it. No. <laughs> He's good to go. He, he was his normal. <laughs> yeah, so tell us your story. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you've already had COVID. Uh, you know, what, what you had, what kind of symptoms you had, if you were in an RV or versus a house, how you got through it. We'd like to hear your story about COVID too. Yeah. Yeah. But I do recommend not like trying to endorse the easy, easy, Easy C pack. I endorse it. But but it is phenomenal. I felt so much better. Whether you have cold, flu, or COVID, mm -hmm. it really does supercharge your system with the good stuff that yeah. fights it in half the time. Yeah. Which is awesome. And so a lot of people talk about lingering effects of COVID. I do still have like so if I don't want to say sore throat because it's not that. It feels like um I have 
just took a big swig of hot coffee. Yeah. All the time. It feels like that right huh. now. So I feel like there might be like a little bit of a scarring. Could be from all the coughing that From she did. all the coughing and from just a razor blade. It was just raw and just painful. Take longer to heal. And so it's probably going to take a while for it to get yeah. back to 100% normal. But that's really the only lingering effect that I have. Our daughter said that she still kind of feels fatigued, fatigued a little bit. Um, oh, what else Even she though say? she's already passed past yeah. COVID. Yeah. She has a couple uh, shortness of breath. Yeah. She gets exerted easier. Said she made right her now. bed the other day and she was yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she was whooped after that. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, there are lingering effects. But, yeah, um, you know, all part of the deal um, uh, having COVID in an RV is being trapped in a small space and it, it does suck. Yes. But it does. Thank you for taking care of me. You're welcome. <laughs> Leslie's not wearing any pants. Stop yourself. <laughs> I have shorts on. I have something on. Really? You're walking over here like, do I need to wear pants for this? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> you don't need to wear pants for anything. Yeah. If <laughs> if you were running the ship, that's how it would be. I'd be pantless 24 <laughs> 7. <laughs> Porky Pagan over here. You can't see him, but. It's a lot of. <laughs> you hear him. <laughs> Scout yeah. almost like launched himself off of the. <laughs> well, his thing. ramp is where the camera is. Yeah. Right now, so he's used to getting down. Well, hey, um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Uh, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.